This is Cambridge Secondary One Checkpoint, Paper One, October twenty seventeen. This paper is without calculator. Let's start. Question one. Write these decimals in order of size, starting with the smallest. So we have numbers in decimals. We need to rearrange them starting from smallest to largest so the first one is 0.75 second 0.7 1.2 2.1 and 1.1 you can see this is two decimal place 1 1 1 and 1 so to make it simpler we can make them two decimal place by adding zero so if i add zero here zero point two decimal places here two decimal Two decimal. So now we can start looking at that. So the smallest one here, zero point seven zero. So this will go on number one. After that, zero point. These two are the numbers that are zero point something. So this will be the second one, zero point seven five. Then we have two numbers with one point something. So this and this. So one point one zero. Then one point two zero, the largest one is two point one. So this will be number five. We need to write answer in the form of question as we have exactly in the beginning. So first one is zero point seven, uh, second is zero point seven five, third is one point one, fourth is one point two, and fifth one is two point one. So this is our final answer. Let's move to question number two. Solve the equation three r plus seven equals to thirty four. We need the value of r. So three r equals to thirty four. Shift this seven to other side. This is positive. It will become negative on other side. So thirty four minus seven is twenty seven. Three r this side. To remove r, we divide both sides by three. Three times nine is twenty seven. So value of r is nine. Question number three. Take the expression that is same as six plus two times e. So this will be six plus two e. So first one is eight e no. Then two plus six e no. We have six plus two e. This is two e plus six. So this is the correct one. So that is the answer for that. Question number four. Work out twenty eight. Times thirty six divided by eight. We will use here board mass. So with that, we are going to uh, first solve the division. So twenty eight times thirty six divided by eighteen is two. Twenty eight times two. This is fifty six. So fifty six is the answer of this question. Question five. A pen costs p cents. Write down a formula for the cost c cents for n pens. So we know that uh, the cost of one pen, cost of one pen, is equal to p cents. Similarly, cost of two pens will be two times p cents. Then similarly, we will continue. Cost for n pens will be n times p. So formula will be c equals to n p or n times p. Question number six, part a. Complete the gaps to show the relationship between the units. The first one has been done for you. Uh, from millimeter to centimeters, we will divide by ten here. Now second, kilograms to grams. So we know that one kilogram. Is equal to one thousand grams. So, if we want to convert from kilogram to grams, we are going to multiply by one thousand. Next, we have milliliters to liters. Now we know that one liter is equal to one thousand milliliters. So we are converting from milliliters to liters. So we will divide here by one thousand. So this will be the final answer. Next part B, convert 856 meters to kilometers. So as we know, one kilometer equals to 
meters so uh, we need to know 856 meters how many kilometers just cross multiply so that will be x times 1000 equals to 1 times 856 so divide by 1000 or divide by 1000 on other side this uh, this is gone so it is 8 5, 56 times 1 remain same there are three zeros so we will put decimal from counting from right hand side 1 2 3 so this one 0 0.856 kilometers in one, uh, 856 meters you can directly divide also as you know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so you can just di directly divide by 1000 question 7 Mike is investigating this hypothesis and uh, students spend more time doing homework as they get older you should always underline the keywords uh, tick two variables that Mike must collect information about investigate this hypothesis as you want to know about spending time and according to their age as they get older so let's see which one is the correct here name of the students we don't need that age age matters because he is collecting information as they get older so we'll take one here favorite subject because they are not talking about the subject they just want to know how much time they spend so this is not then time spent during doing homework we will take this one so these are the two variables that he must keep in mind number eight here are the descriptions of two numbers the smallest multiple of five greater than one thousand so smallest multiple of five greater than one thousand it will be one thousand and five second the largest multiple of nine with three digits it will be nine hundred and ninety nine because after that it will be one thousand which is four digits so work out the difference between we need to find out the difference between these two numbers so 15 minus 9 it's 6 so our answer is 6 question 9 work out a part 7 over 10 plus 1 over 5 uh, so we need to work the value of this uh, so as LCM will be 10 we can make both numerator and denominator 10 by multiplying here by 2 so now this is 7 over 10 plus 2 over 10 so directly it is 9 over 10 so our answer will be 9 over 10 in this case uh, part b we have a mis mixed fraction here first we will convert 5 times 4 20 20 plus 1 21 over 4 minus 3 times 2 6 plus 1 7 over 3 now we need to make the denominator same we can multiply uh, the denominator of each other times 3 here times 3 so this is 12 here times 4 times 4 so 21 times 3 is 63 over 12 minus 28 over 12 so we have 12 here so this is 35 63 minus 28 is 35 so now we need to write down this as a mixed fraction 35 divided by 12 so uh, it will be 1 it should be actually uh, 12 times 3 36 12 times 2 is 24 so 1 and 1 so as you write don't get confused denominator is here remainder goes up here and the divisor is here so this is our final answer question 10 here is a number fact that 137 times 14 is 1918 use the number fact to work this out uh, so as these digits are same so answer will remain same now look for the decimal there are two decimal places here so we will put decimal counting from right hand side 1 2 so it will be 19.18 let's see part b uh, this 
1918 divided by 13.7 now uh, as you see we can write it down as 1918 divided by 13.7 so if we write 1918 over 137 so this decimal if you remove this decimal so it will go 10 upwards so this answer 1918 divided by as uh, 14 will be 100 and uh, you can write down here 198 divided by 14 sorry we we are taking 198 divided by 137 is equal to 14 so this answer is 14 times 10 this one so final answer will be 100 40 Now question 11 a right angle triangle has sides of length 5 cm 12 cm and 13 cm draw a ring around the length of hypotenuse of for this triangle as you know hypotenuse is always the largest side so largest side here is 13 so hypotenuse will be 13 just put ring on 13 cm question 12 Some fractions are equivalent to recurring decimals. Example: one over three zero point three three. You can see the digit is repeating. Then, uh, some fractions are equivalent to terminating decimals. Terminate, they have end. They ends at certain point, like three over four is zero point seven five. So there is that is a definite answer for that. Uh, write each of the following fractions in the correct position on. the table so we have to put all these numbers in the uh, correct box so let's start uh, with the 2 over 9 so 2 divided by 9 can just just write in here 2 divided by 9 so decimal 0 9 times 2 is 18 again 2 18 you can see every time we are getting remainder 2 so it will continue 0.22 so 0.22 if it is continuation so then this is, this will come under this column recurring so 2 over 9 will fall in this side of the table then 2 over 5 next is 2 divided by 5 so 0 here 5 times 4 is 20 so this is terminating it has an and so 2 over 5 will fall under terminating decimals next we have we are done with this and this 7 over 20 7 divided by 20 so again 0 decimal 60 then uh, you can put more zeros here drop down 100 5 so this has also an end so this will go in this terminating decimal 7 over 20 now we have 5 over 6 5 divided by 6 decimal 0 6 times 8 is 48 then 2 0 we can put as many zeros as we want then again 6 times 3 is 18 again 2 18 so you can see every time we are getting remainder 2 so it will continue so this is recurring decimal so 5 over 6 is this side now the final one is 1 divided by 30 so 0 10 again 0 0 30 times 3 90 100 again put zeros here 90 again 100 so if you continue this is also uh, recurring decimal that it does not have any end so 1 over 30 will go in this column so this is the final answer we have uh, kept all the numbers on their actual position question 13 add together 5 and negative 1 so we need to add them this is 5 plus negative 1 so it will be 5 minus 1 that is 
next add together negative 2 plus negative 3 you can even put bracket here so we have two negative numbers and we are adding them so it will be negative 5 add them together and keep the sign now subtract negative 3 from 5 now it is from 5 we have to subtract negative 3 from 5 so we have two negative signs together without any number in the middle so this will be 5 plus 3 this negative and negative will become positive so 5 plus 3 is 8 question number 14 draw rings around all the cube numbers 6 is not cube 2 is cube yes it is 2 times 2 times 2 then 9 is not 36 is not then 64 64 is 4 times 4 times 4 so this is 4 cubed question 15 six points are shown on the grid we have a b c d e f on the grid write down the coordinates of the point where perpendicular bisector of a c meets bisector and of angle b f e now first we will go for perpendicular bisector of ac so this is ac so let's join the line first ac perpendicular bisector as we have on the grid so it's easier so this is our bisector here this side in the middle um, in the middle of ac sorry ac in the middle of ac is this point so we will go along so this is the bisector of AC. Then we have uh, bisector of angle BFE. Angle BFE is this one. So BFE is this angle. This is angle BFE. So we need the bisector of this. So we can just uh, draw a line in the middle of these boxes. From the middle of these squares. So we can see this is the point of intersection here. So we need to write down the coordinates. Coordinates along if you go down x is 3 and if you this is going down x is 3 on the left hand side if you move this way this is 5 so value of y is 5.